Now to a story of a judiciary literally on trial. The High Court in Nairobi on Thursday ordered that personal bank accounts registered in the names of the chief registrar of the judiciary, Anne Etienne Amadi, her son, Brian Acheng Amadi, and two others be frozen immediately. The two are facing a petition in which a UAE firm identified as Bratton Gold Trading claims that the chief registrar of the judiciary, Anne Etienne Amadi, her son, Brian Ocheng, and two others acting on behalf of the law firm, Amadi and Associates Advocates, allegedly illegally obtained over 89 million Kenya shillings for 1,500 kilograms of gold that was never supplied. Seth Olale reports. Justice David Majanja's order, freezing personal bank accounts registered in the names of the chief registrar of the judiciary, Anne Atieno Amadi, her son Brian Ocheng Amadi, and two others, comes after a UAE firm identified as Bruton Gold Trading sued Amadi and associate advocates for allegedly illegally obtaining over 89 million Kenya shillings for 1,500 kilograms of gold that was never supplied in the year 2021. According to documents filed in court, it is alleged that Amadi and Associates advocates colluded with Daniel Ndegwa and a foreign national only identified as Edward Taylor to defraud the Dubai-based firm for selling gold that was never delivered despite transferring an initial deposit of over 81 million shillings that was allegedly sent to Amadi's law firm between September and October 2021, but no gold was ever exported from Kenya to Dubai. In suing the judiciary registrar, the UAE firm claims that investigations by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations revealed that she is the registered proprietor of Amadi and Associates Advocates. Bruton Gold Trading also alleges that the probe disclosed that the account where the money was deposited was also opened by the judiciary registrar after joining the judiciary. Bruton Gold Trading, through its lawyers Murage Juma and company advocates, alleged that the 81 million shillings deposited was withdrawn by employees of Amadi and associate advocates, including chief registrar of the judiciary and Ateno Amadi's son, Brian Ocheng. According to court documents, the Dubai firm alleges that Amadi and Associates Advocates later sought to clear the initial deposit within six months, but the request was declined by the UAE firm. Bruton Gold Trading now wants the chief registrar and other suspects be investigated and charged over forgery, obtaining money by false pretense, aiding money laundering, as well as refunding the 81 million shillings initial deposit plus interest. So help me God. In view of the foregoing, it will be interesting to see how her employer, the judiciary, will pronounce itself on the matter since she is the accounting officer of this arm of government. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.